Hi, I'm Sina Aracina, and this is Birdlet Swing. This is a one-hit wonder game. <laughs> I, I really like this game. Uh, I played it like two years ago, something like that, on 2020. Yeah, I think so. Let me just uh, adjust the volume a little. Okay, yeah, I think that's a little better. Let's just increase the music one bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start like at the very beginning. When I got here, yeah. Now, the levels are very short, so don't worry. Yeah, it's just as... Yeah, you s swing. That's how it works. You release the button and... The game, re uh, like... You release... Uh, your cable or whatever. The thing you are holding on to. Oh! You cannot touch anything, so everything is made out of lava, basically. Nice! And you just have to get to the end. Now, everything you touch, like, you see how the crosser changes? You cannot, like, grab onto the floor, but you can grab onto everything else, basically. Even the clouds. But, yeah, you just have to be careful with your swings. Ah! Up! <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy games like this too much. I just do, they are very fun. Also be careful not to grab the cloud! Ah. There we go, nice and easy. Like, this game is very addictive, it looks very simple, but I always like the idea of swinging around like this. Like in the Spider-Man games. Those do a pretty good job with the- oh, I was so close, with the swinging. And you can basically finish the level however you like, see? As long as you touch the thing, that's all that it matters. Oops, uh, I needed to grab onto it, sorry. Oh, come on! There we go. You don't even have to, you know, grab onto this to start the level. You can grab onto anything. But, you know, you have to be careful. Oops, not... Oh, I was about to make it, but... Just have to have quick reflexes, <coughs> which is a thing I don't have, sadly. It comes with age, it's normal. It happened to me, it will happen to you, so stay sharp. There we go. Yep. Okay, now I have to get like all the way up there, so this is gonna be fun. Oh. Uh. Okay, I want to try it again. Ah, uh, it's no use grabbing it there because, you know, you will just die.
Ok, let's swing. Oh, I was so close. Let's try it again. Like, the game expects you to, you know, grab onto that and swing around. But you don't really have to do that if you don't want to. You just have to be smart about it. Mm, that's a little too far away. Oh wait, it wasn't, it just was a, an illusion. Whoops! Okay, that was, you know... I just need to grab the big heads and continue... Oh, I, I grabbed on the wrong one, whoops. Nope! Fine, let's try to do it your way then. No! Uh, <laughs> that's part of the difficulty in this game, but that's part of the fun also. As for why I'm making this a one-hit wonder, I would really like to, you know, make a full series out of this. But, as you can see, the game is not too easy. And it's basically gonna boil down to, am I good enough? And the answer is, no, I'm not good enough. <laughs> I stopped playing this game, you know, almost two years ago. And I couldn't only reach the second world. Although, I was playing with my Joy-Cons right now and using... A PlayStation 4 controller because that's how I roll. I don't know about you. Oops. <laughs> I don't know about you, but PlayStation controllers have always been my favorite. Like, no other controllers can. can even compare. Oh, I was so close. Can even compare to how well how well built are the PS PlayStation controllers in general. Oops, whoops. Like the design is simple yet elegant. Unlike well, Nintendo, which is basically on crack. And, you know, Xbox controllers are too bulky. If you like that, I mean, if you have big hands, that's awesome. But if you are like me, who has normal hands... Yeah, the, the PlayStation controllers are the way to go. I even... You know, I grew up with Nintendo, and I had, like, almost altered consoles. I mean, I'm playing on the Switch right now, aren't I? But the PlayStation is, you know, where it's at for me. Oh. Okay. I don't remember, like, things exploding, but hey. Whatever works. Oops. This game will be pretty cool in VR. Although, you know, quite trippy. Ah, I didn't catch the right one. Yeah, this should be better. Ouch. Uh, maybe if I go around. Whoops, wrong one. But yeah, that, that kind of worked. Let's try it again. Ouch, all right, all right. Oh, excuse me for a second. Am I... Just, excuse me. You may not listen to anything. Yeah, the music just stopped a bit. Let me adjust that. It's because the battery of my headphones just ran out.
Let me just change to the speakers. There we go. Alright, let's try it up again. Actually, let's, yeah, let's grab the cloud. Yep, pretty good idea right there. There we go, nice. Uh, well, the exit is in there, but I remember like having a lot of trouble with this level. Oops. And I also remember like doing some crazy stuff in it. Oh, I cannot grab to the... Oh, I see. It says use L for horizontal swings. Uh, Do I press like... No, pressing it doesn't do anything. So I guess it just means like, you know, move around. The L button doesn't do anything either. I don't even remember how I did this level. I just remember like... Just a little bit. Ah, that's what you mean. There we go. So yeah, I just move around. That's what it meant. It says, remember using the horizontal swings. Yeah, thank you. GG easy. <laughs> Yeah, like, I think I did it like that the last time I played it, considering it's almost the same time. Okay, here we go. Oops. Oh yeah, I kind of grab onto... Yeah, 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 I remember now. I also remember I took some shortcuts with this one. Oh! Can I do it from here now? Okay, let's do the Burlet Swing. Ooh, this is the Burlet Swing. Oh! Okay, okay. We're almost there. We don't have to do all of this fancy swinging. We can just take a shortcut. Oh, I was right there, wasn't I? It happens sometimes. It could be like that. Oops. See? It happens. Okay, are we still recording? Yes. Oh. Yeah, you just have to do a very good swing. Oh. I should have let go, but... No, 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 no! Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, so close. Like, the speed running for this game must be like crazy. Oh yeah, this is very good. Oh. I almost had it. Okay, let's just win. And then try to fall into it. Yeah! <laughs> oh wow, I, I really wasn't expecting that to work. Alright, dynamite this. Well, I can grab this, which is good. I also remember this level, yeah, I remember going over it like that, and doing it like this, yep, see, hey, new best time, needles, Wee. Oy. 
Well, that almost worked. Ah, uh, so close. Come on, grab onto it. Uh, too late. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Okay, a little. <laughs> but yeah, I, I understand. You, you just have to, once you let go, you basically grab immediately. That way you gain enough distance, but yeah. It's pretty finicky. Where do I grab to? Oh, oh. Yeah, I think that's the only thing that's too bad. Also, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, no surprises there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make it, yep. But, yeah, again, the swing wasn't enough. So yeah, so your grabbing distance is basically unlimited, as you saw. Which is both good and bad, because good, of course, you can save yourself. Yeah, it was too low. But bad because you can basically grab anything. And that will be your own doing if you're not careful. There we go. Okay, side swinger. Swinger, whatever. There. Woo. Uh, Easter Bridge. Oh yeah, I remember this level. It's as hard as it looks. Don't. Oh yes, first try. Oh, thank you. Oh wow. Personal best. Lefty right. Uh, I see what you want me to do. Yeah, I think I can do it. Okay, it's gonna be hard. Ah, oh, fine, I'll do it the way you want me to. Although it's gonna be hard. I remember like going over that thing once. Oh, I can. No, I cannot grab like that. Yeah, this is not gonna end well for me. Ooh! Okay, I almost got it. Almost. Again? Yeah, that's what I meant. See, I go over it. But you have to let go at a very specific time, so you gain, like, enough traction from the swing. This also works. Oh, so close. Oh, I hit my head with the ceiling. There we go. There. Ah, nice. Okay, so... Oh, wow, we've only been playing for 20 minutes. So, yeah, this game is goes by pretty fast. Also, I think this is the last level of the first thing. I think because I'm playing with a Pro Controller... Well, a PlayStation 4 controller. That's why I'm not having as much trouble playing it like I did the first time, since I was playing with the Joy-Cons. 
I mean, I have nothing against the Joy-Cons, but there's a reason the Pro Controller exists. Ouch. Also, the fact that I'm playing and talking at the same time. The first time I played this, I, I wasn't talking since I wasn't, you know, recording. So, you can say, I got a little better. I found another game which I thought was like this one, but no. It was a third person, like, sort of platformer? It had the same aesthetic, like vaporware, I think it's called. But no, nothing can compare to Burlick's Wing. Okay, maybe I can go over that and skip this whole section, so... Yeah, let's try that. Uh, okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> oh, so close. Okay. Ouch. You know, I keep leaning in when, when I'm doing my swings. Oh. Okay, I gain more air sign, which is good. Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I finished the first world. This is the second world if I'm... Like, uh, let's go to a level selection. Yeah. Yeah, this is the... Let's resume. This is the second world. This is where I've left. You can catch the bob also. Just be careful with the water. Oh, interesting! So the bubbles don't kill you. I, I didn't notice that the first time I was playing. Oh. They just make you, you know, warp around. Uh, okay. That works. I mean, it took... It's not my best time, but whatever. <laughs> Dolphins. Okay, I know what I have to do. There we go. Nice and easy. Oh, wow. Space Boys. Yeah, I guess it's referring to those uh, things. Ouch. I like the aesthetic. Oop. Okay, that was kind of funny. Oop. But I didn't catch the thing on time. If you're watching this from the far future, yeah, at the time, this was the aesthetic we were using. Or, you know, your indie stuff. Or even some of the, ma uh, the mainstream stuff used this aesthetic. So yeah, there you go, historians. An answer to a question nobody asked now, but maybe ask in the future. I always wonder, like... How are going... How is this, uh, history going to remember us? To be honest, uh, uh, I don't think in a pretty good light. This time we're living in, it's yeah, not the best. Not gonna go into specifics, but yeah. Okay, just oh, grab the eyes. <laughs> I mean, I could also grab the dolphin. Ouch. 
But also, imagine there was some great catastrophe and, you know, civilization was wiped out. Ouch. Nope. And eventually, and I mean like really eventually, people from the future, if you know there is any at that point, start doing archaeological diggings. They wouldn't find much. They they will find like okay, yeah, the civilization existed. That's good. Oh, <laughs> that was the closest one I had. But for example, we have the internet. And that poses a problem. And I think you already know why, just by mentioning the internet. If civilization falls, we're going to lose all the infrastructure that was keeping the internet working. So the internet may become a, lo uh, a lost relic a trope of information about our civilization and what happened to it that is completely still off to future generations oh, oh, I was about to now, there is a possibility that maybe someone is able to sorry to restart the internet, which will be good, but you gotta keep in mind that we keep, you know, the information about pages and everything on hard drives and servers, and those things are not coming back. So who knows it? Oh, so close. As you can see, the game is not playing around anymore. You just wrap yourself into whatever you can grab into... Yes! <laughs> nice! Okay, through the weeds. Oh, this is trippy. Ah. Oh. Maybe if they are really lucky, what they can find is the Wayback Machine server. Oh, I should have gone down. You know, the page that archives whatever is on the internet, as long as they gave permission for that which is good because it means they won't find Facebook thank god I don't think uh, Facebook is the best way to show how humanity was to or descendants but yeah if they find the wave machine well they, they at least have something like a basic idea of how it was oh but yeah can, can you imagine like scholars from the future talking and discussing uh, discussing about memes like oh yeah this this image was shared among this group of people around this era and they seem to consider some sort of god considering the description said base god we still don't know what a base god is but it seems they had multiple deities like this one they also seem to express their feelings using single images with faces on them that express that feeling. They call them rage faces. Despite the, fa uh, despite the name, not all of them express the, uh, 
the feeling of anger, most of them express multiple different feelings, including something called cringe. We are still looking into that, we don't know what cringe is yet, but according to the books, we found... Ah! They say cringe may be the opposite of base, so maybe cringe was humanity in general? And is what opposed the gods, you know, the base gods. Yeah, can you imagine like a discussion like that between scholars in academia? I mean, I can because I'm telling you. Oops. Ooh, what? Ah. Uh. So close. Oh, I catch the wrong one. Ouch. I was trying something different. Okay. Good. Good. Ah. Uh. Or like our obsession with cats. Well, the internet's obsession with cats. To be honest, uh, I'm starting to get a little tired for uh, with cats. Uh, I think I saw some study recently that says that uh, cat brains are becoming smaller. Which makes sense if you think about it. Unlike dogs, which are trained to, you know, do stuff. Cats are not, and most cats, well, household cats, depend from, are dependent of humans to take care of them, which means they don't need to hunt, they don't need to hunt their skills, and people can be very responsible, like, a lot of people let their cats be free roam, you can, uh, you can do that, Car uh, cats, sorry, cats are predatory species, they are gonna eat the birds, attack squirrels, things like that, so they, they are not only predatory, but they are also invasive. And if you don't, uh, you know, spay or neuter them, and let them be free range, you're just gonna make, you know, more cats. Ouch. And that's just part of the problem. Yeah, many, many people like animal lovers or whatever say, no, don't, don't spay or neuter the cats, that's, you know, bad, but why? That's my question. Ah. Like, yeah, of course, losing your balls sucks. But hey, in the case of female cats, that's very good for them because they don't have their periods and stuff like that. And also they don't attract male cats and don't get, you know, ape with an R. Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's try to grab onto the of the circles. That's not the circle. Okay, that worked. Okay, it's working, but we need to take this. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. I think I got it. I know what to do. But yeah, cats are very predatory. Uh, now, of course, dogs can can be very aggressive too. But you gotta keep in mind that usually you keep dogs on a leash. 
which is why we don't have that problem with dogs. Dogs are great. You can train a dog, you, you tell a dog to sit, and it sits, or they sit. Ouch. Of course, you have to train it. The dog is not gonna just magically say, oh yeah, I just must obey the human. I don't know what hit me that time. Maybe the wall behind me, probably. Ooh, I don't know how I did that, but it worked. Ah! <laughs> was so close. Okay. Come on. I'm almost there. No! Oh. I'm back in the game, somehow. Oh, <laughs> so close. <laughs> but yeah, look, I understand you love your pets. Like most people nowadays need something to get attached to that won't leave them. You know, have something to make uh, to bring them comfort, I get, I get it. That's what, that's why they are called comfort animals. But, uh, I feel like people humanize pets a lot. Look, I can understand it, you consider that pets are better than some people you know, or in some cases most people you know, totally understand it, people suck, that's, you know, a fact of life, ouch. Although animals do have their own, um, what's the name, personalities. And yeah, they can be assholes, just like people. The only reason you don't you don't see it as often is because they don't speak our language. That's why, that's the only reason. If humans speak English or whatever language we speak. Yeah, it will be way different. Can you imagine understanding what your cat is saying to you at 3 in the morning? Yeah, no, thank you. I'd rather not. I've been stuck on this level for quite a while now. I was so close that one time, I, and I kinda skip it because I already did it in the past, but I won't. I can do this. But yeah, um, take care of your cats, don't be an idiot. Okay. There. Woo! Yes! Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, the bubble trouble. Oh, and the platforms move now. Like, don't let your cats out. Uh, okay. 
Uh, I don't know how I did it, but here we are. Because they prey on birds and other species which are natural to that environment in particular. And you are being an asshole just by, by just letting your cat roam around and killing them. If you want uh, your cat to enjoy the outdoors, have a bigger house. That's, that's the answer. There. If you cannot provide that for your cat, then don't have a cat. Easy. GG. Uh, yeah, uh, because that's that's one of the. Whoops, I'm trying to concentrate and talk at the same time. That's one of the arguments you often hear. Oh, you must let cat, cats be roam free and stuff like that. Well, yeah, but you gotta be responsible. You cannot just say that. And and if you cannot provide like a safe space for your cat where it can roam and have enough space to, you know, be happy, then don't have a cat. You are not like... Oop, 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 there. You are under no obligation to own a cat. It's not mandated by the government or anything. Okay. Oh, okay, this level doesn't look so bad. Because I can just keep it, oops, <laughs> stay down and I think I will be fine. Now uh, where is the exit? Oh. Oh, it's up there, so I cannot just stay down, I see. I just need to keep going up. Woo! Okay, that was pretty, <laughs> pretty intense. Raft. Okay, before we continue, oops. Okay, if I press minus, it resets the level. That's good to know. Oh, is that where I left off? Really? Well, I don't remember this level, so I guess I've become better. Hey, that's nice to know. Yeah, I don't remember these islands. These, these are new. Hey, I'm pretty excited now. Maybe I will make this like a two or three episode thing. Okay, just as went to the other side. Ah, so close. Okay, again. Yeah, I see what's going on. It's because the balloons keep, you know, doing that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, as you can see, once you grab to one of those, whoop, it takes you all the way. Oh, I, I lost the thing. Ah. Well, this level doesn't seem too bad. I mean, there's a lot of things distracting you, but... Okay, just take me. Take me to the Nintendos. Oh, come on. Ah. But yeah, that problem doesn't happen with dogs, and yes, I like dogs more than cats, soon. Now, no, uh, not all cats are bad, some of them are just, you know, spoiled by their caretakers. Yeah, it's too bad you cannot grab them today, you know, the goal. That will be useful, kind of. Oh, I almost had it. I, I just needed to grab onto one of the islands.
up. I don't know what happened. I tried to grab. Yeah, I can grab onto the islands. Whoa, okay. Was just checking. Ah, almost got it. Okay, let's just win back. Whoa, yeah! Okay. The elevator. Huh? Oh, I guess I, I need to grab onto that and, you know, avoid all the things. Oh, oops. Okay, yeah, I totally don't remember this level, so yeah, this is a new level. I'm very amazed, to be honest. The fact that I managed to... Look, you know, do one of the levels I wasn't able to do the last time I played this game and do it without knowing it was the one I got stuck in is amazing. Okay, again. Now I'm too close. Just keep a little distance. There we go. Nice! How long have we been playing for? Okay, 46 minutes. We still have time. Uh, can I grab them? Those uh, spears? Bubbles? Whatever they are. Okay, let's just concentrate on grabbing onto the, you know, the regular ones instead. Okay, I can grab from the anchor. Oh, come on! Uh. Oh god, oh god! Okay, I cannot grab from the anchor stand. Oh wow! Excuse me. Uh, what is happening? Like, I'm just going around. Oh, and the bridge closes, so I must be fast. Interesting. Okay, so I can grab to... Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh! I doubted myself. That's what happened. Like, I almost had it. Oh. But I stopped pushing forward for a second because I doubted myself. Like, I second-guessed me. But I see now I can grab myself into those uh, spears. See? Just like that. And you just... Oh. Okay, I, I think I got an idea. Just have to be careful. Okay, I managed to grab myself from that. Ouch. Yeah, I need to grab onto one of those when it's coming right at me. When I need middle jump like that. Oh, okay, that took me by surprise. But yeah, speaking of historians. Again, I grabbed myself the wrong one, but this time I didn't doubt myself, so here we are. I have the high ground and now upstream. Ooh. Oh. Well, this looks fun. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to grab myself from the feast, don't I? Yep.
Yeah! <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. Gear up. Well, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, why go up when you can all oh, go down? So close. so close you know what other uh, game I play I play a, a, a game that was like this but with a slime you control a slime and jump around and use your tongue to grab onto things and I played that recently like a month ago I don't remember the game uh, the name of the game Oh, no, 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 I should have... Okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, I should have grabbed from the dolphin. I forgot they are grabbable. And I got a lot of practice from that game. That game I did finish. It was pretty fun. Uh, excuse me for a second. Let me look at the name of the game. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. The name of the game is Crumble. Look it up. It's a pretty cool game. I think it was only made by one dude. Like he did it. Uh, he did a pretty good uh, work. He has six worlds and a bunch of levels. Time trial. Oh, I thought it says trouble. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to adjust myself in my seat. Ah, I see. That's why it says time trial. Ooh. Now I see what it said, why it says try. I look. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. It was too. I, I need to grab onto the very edge of that white thing when I come out like this. Like so. Yeah! Uh, food corals. Oh. Oh, oh god. Okay, this looks fun. Can I go, you know, just grab myself and go down? I'll try. Oh, two. Okay, I see. No cheating. And they even put bubbles in case you want to go outside the things. Sneaky sneaky. But I think I can I can pull it off. I just need to be really careful. Oh, and of course the thing is inside one of the balls. It looks like a soccer ball, but you know. Without the black parts on it. No 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 Okay well at least I know what to do now and I know I don't have to you know get inside those until the final one that is okay 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 ah oh, almost got it oh. okay I have an idea but I, it's gonna be very luck dependent which you know is not bad in this game I just need to get from the top and hopefully one of the of the holes will be on the top when I'm there, so I will just fall into the goal. Okay, another strategy is just grab yourself for a second and let go and then grab again to gain more momentum. Because that's how it works in these uh, types of games, I've noticed. Since all of them are using the Unreal Engine, 
I think it's the real engine 4, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, please. And it has the same type of physics. doesn't have a hole ah uh, okay well this is gonna be fun and probably our last level for today let me remind you this is world 2 out of 4 if there are no you know secret walls or anything ah I was so close but I gotta go fast yeah, and also be careful with that. Oh, no. Yeah. I knew it from the moment I grabbed myself into the team that it wasn't gonna be good. Yeah. But yeah, getting back onto the topic of archaeology. If you ask me, I think it would be a pretty good idea to leave a collection of books, uh, hard drives and everything relating to humanity's knowledge in a safe place. And you know what the safest place I can think of is? The moon. Like, they could send a rocket there. You could just put everything into hard drives. And books. I, I prefer hard drives. I know people like books and paper and whatever. Eh, if, if I can't have electronic media, I rather prefer it into electronic media. In the case of specifically when referring to books. I don't know, I just feel the boot culture like basically feels like a cult. Like people say, no, no, how dare you read that in digital format when you can save your progress so you remember where you left off and when you can look for a specific words and just be more efficient all around. Why don't you, why are you not using this dead tree? I'm just saying that the, the three parts of joke and I don't really like I'm not gonna play that unless that's what I'm trying to say. Oh I I thought I was gonna make it. There we go. This is making it. Oh, okay, I let go too soon. Yep. Oh, that worked. Oh, and then it didn't. Oh, I... Like, how did I grab that? Again, I grabbed the wrong one. But yeah, I think the moon will be a pretty good place to keep all of humanity's collective knowledge. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I almost had it. Oh, I'm inside, but... Oh, okay, yeah, I'll take it. And just in time. Okay, this was level 35. Let's, uh... Well, let's start the next one, but I'm not gonna play it. Shifters, it says. Oops. Let's go to level selection. Okay, so... Oh, there's a hundred levels. Sorry, I thought there were only four worlds. Okay, 35. I mean... I, I don't think I will be able to do another 35 levels in a single episode again. 
most likely I, I can do, you know, on the next episode, the five levels remaining and maybe the, the next 20 and finish the third world, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'll try to practice. And if I can do it, this will just be a one-off. And if I can do it, this will be, you know, a three-part series or a four-part series. So whatever number of parts we need. It's a really fun game, what can I say? But anyways, enjoy the video, leave a like, have something to say, comment down below. One more, please subscribe, if this video ending, you can bet it is. So I thank you so much for watching, goodbye.